ArrayList is a non-generic type of collection in C-sharp. It can contain elements of any data types, and it is similar to an array, except that it grows automatically as you add items to it. Unlike an array, you don't need to specify the size of ArrayList. To initialize an ArrayList, we are going to use the ArrayList keyword, so for that we write ArrayList. We need to define a name, so myValues is equal to new array list. To add items to an array list, we can use the add method. So my values dot add, and then we can write in here 10, which is a value of type integer. If we want to add a string, we can do that. So my values dot add, this is a string. If you want to add a double, we can do that as well. So my values dot add, and then in here 12.25. So we see that in an array list, we can add any type of data. Now, if we right click on an array list and then go to definition, we are going to see that the array list inherits from the i enumerable, which means that we can use the for each loop to iterate through all the values. So if we want to display all the items to the screen, we can write for each var value in my values console.writeLine and then here just value. Control F5 to see the result. So here we have all the values. Now, in an array list except single values, we can add a range of values. So for example, we can write in here my values dot add range. And then instead of just one element, we can add a complete array list. So write here new array list. And then for this array list, we can define the values to be John, for example. We can define a number, and we can define a double, and much more. So if I press Ctrl F5 again, here we are going to see the last three values that we added using the add range method. So we see that when we use the add or the add range methods, we are simply appending values at the end of the array list. But what if we want to add a value? in a certain position. For example, we want to add a string in the first position. For that, we can use the insert method or insert range if we want to add more than one value. Let us see how we can use the insert method. To use the insert method, write my values.insert and then in here we need to define the index or the position. So here we have defined the index to be one or the second position in the collection because collections are based in a zero index. And then next, let us define a value. So this is the first index. Let us add one more. So my values dot insert in here, write three. And this is the third index and run the application by pressing control F5. So in the index number one, we are going to see this string and in the index number three, we are going to see the other result. But what if we want to remove an item from the array list? To remove the items, we are going to use the remove method. So write in here my values dot remove and then define which value you want to remove or which object you want to remove. Let us say we want to remove the object that we just added. So this is the first index. I'll just copy this value and paste it down here and then press Ctrl F5 to see the result. So here we see that the first string is missing. If you want to remove more than one value, you can define the remove range method. So for that, write in here my values dot remove range and the number of values that you want to remove starting from that index. So I'll just write in here to starting from zero. I want to remove two items. So I'll remove the first one and the second one. Control F5 to see the result. So here we see that the first two values are removed and the this is the third index is displayed in the index zero. You can also remove items from a certain position. So for example, we write in here my values dot remove add. And now we need to define the index. So let us define the index to be zero, which means the first position and then Control F5 to see the result. 
So now in here we see that the first value was removed. Another important method in ArrayList is the sort method. And the sort method is used to sort the entire elements of the ArrayList. So from here now I'm going to remove everything and provide new values for the my values array list. We added some new values to the array list by using the add method and the add range method. So this is the result before we sort the values. If we want to sort the values, we can write in here my values dot sort. And then to see the result, press control F5. In here, we see that we get an exception. And that's right, because when you want to use the sort or the reverse method in an array list, you need to make sure that you have only elements which have the same data type. Let us go back to our array list. In here, change the 13.4 to 13, and then Control F5 to sort this array. And we see that the values are sorted in an ascending way. Now, if you want to reverse the array list, which means that you want to display the last value as the first one, then you can use the reverse method. So in here, instead of sort, let's write reverse. We expect the value 12 to be last and the value 23 to be first. So Ctrl F5, and here we have the result. Another important method in ArrayList is the contains method. And this method checks whether a specified element exists in the array list or not. It returns true if it exists, otherwise false. So let us write in here console.writeLine and then in here write 12 exists in the array. So this is the statement. The result is going to be my values that contains 12. Control F5. The result is going to be true because we have a 12 value. Now let us check for another one, for example, 50. So change the 15 here and then search for 50. Control F5. The result is going to be false. And if you want to delete all the elements from an array list, you can use the clear method. So we can write in here my values dot clear. And this will basically remove all the elements from the array list. So Control F5, nothing is shown in here. Before we go to the next part, it is important to mention that an array list allocates memory for four items whenever an object is created. And when a fifth item is added, then memory for another four items are added. And to verify this, we can use the count and capacity methods. So let us remove everything from here. Let us remove line 13 as well. And let's use the count and capacity to verify this statement. So to find the count, write myValues.count and then myValues.capacity. So in our array list, currently we have only two values, which means that the count is going to be two and capacity is going to be four because we said that by default there are always four values allocated. So Ctrl F5, here we have two and four. Now, if we add five values, we are going to see that the count is going to be five, but the capacity is going to be eight. And that is the result. So here we have count five and capacity is eight.